dear students i welcome you all to this video today we are going to read a story called the open window the open window was written by h h munro popularly known as saki he was born in the year 1870 hector hugh munro He is considered a master of short story and is often compared to O. Henry and Dorothy Parker. He was influenced by Oscar Wilde, Lewis Carroll and Kipling and besides his short stories, he wrote a full-length play, The Washed Pot in collaboration with Charles Maud. Two one-act plays, A Historical Study, The Rise of Russian Empire, the only book published under his own name a short novel the unbearable bassington saki is well known for his wit humor and ironical endings of course most of his stories are humorous but the open window has a special place people really love reading it Let's start reading. Read this short story where a nervous young man falls prey to a trick that leaves him at his wit's end. To fall prey means to be influenced by something. Here it means getting befooled. And at wit's end means getting completely puzzled or perplexed when someone is at his or her wits end it means they're completely puzzled they're completely perplexed right so now we know that it is a story about a young man who gets befooled because of the trick played on him and due to that trick he gets completely perplexed right let me tell you who's this young man the young man is frampton nuttall frampton nuttall lives in the city but he has had a nervous problem so his sister insists that he should go to a village and take rest so that he can feel better so that he could be away from the urban life which is really busy which is full of noises which is full of pollution which is full of stress so frampton nuttall's sister suggests that he should live in the village stating that she had lived there a couple of years back and she would give him letters of introduction now what are letters of introduction it means she would write letters to the people stating that frampton nuttall is her brother and he has come to village to get well and frampton nuttall should carry those letters of introduction to different houses he should go to different people whom she had known earlier so that they can take care of him So, Frampton Nuttall comes to the village and visits one such house. And here the story starts. My aunt will be down presently, Mr. Nuttall said a very self-possessed young lady of 15. In the meantime, you must try and put up with me. Mr Nuttall comes to make friends with a lady called Miss Sapleton because he is new to the village but he is greeted by a young lady of 15 Vera The author has described Vera as a self-possessed young lady 
self possessed here means confident sure who knows what she is doing and who is clever so vera a young lady young lady is used to refer to a young girl who is unmarried all right so mr natal is greeted by vera who is 15 years old she welcomes him and she tells him to wait she tells him that her aunt the mistress of the house miss sapleton would be downstairs in a while and in the meantime by the time she comes downstairs he can converse with her they can have some conversation so here put up with me means he can have some conversation with vera and vera is the girl who will play a practical joke on mr frampton natal hope you have understood whatever has been told so far so the story basically has three main characters frampton natal vera 15 year old self obsessed girl and miss sepleton and if we talk about the setting of the story it is the living room or drawing room of miss sepleton